Welcome back everyone to Critics News with more update on as you take the go. As you can see, <laughs> they say that Supreme Court, that they, uh, is it court, sacks um, Governor Omar and his deputy over defection to APC. <laughs> you don't read who? <laughs> ah, now wow. <laughs> After all these things that you people are doing against the restoration of Biafra, yeah, they, they show now their color, but they will never learn. And I don't blame them. We are supposed to be the people who we teach them what to learn. But we have failed in our own <laughs> perspective in teaching them the history and lessons of their, their betrayal and sabotage against a struggle. Now, um, and then moving forward to, they say that um, one of the soldiers, Nigerian soldiers, <laughs> has been killed by, <laughs> by, by themselves. DSS kills a Nigerian soldier in Lagos. Nigerian soldier. DSS. And killed the guy. You don't read. That is a country. A country. These are the soldiers that they are sending to Southeast. Go and kill them. Go and bomb houses. Go and burn them. And you go there to burn houses. You think that God is not rotating the hands of time? <laughs> The hands of time are rotating. That's why I've been telling you people, desist from evil because it will definitely come to you. This is not the time for uh, uh, the evil that men does uh, lives uh, um, uh, after them. It will meet you now that you are alive because you we cannot uh, tolerate you uh, causing problems for people who are <laughs> who are dead or people to come. No. If you people commit evil, you people that are killing Biafrans, when you go there to show your force, I just graduated from the infantry, I just graduated from the training, you know, they will send you, deploy you to southeast, and you'll be burning houses, killing helpless people. You think that God does not have a way to reward. I'm not justifying the, his killing or his murder, whichever way they call it, but this is what is happening in Nigeria. The Nigerian government is just using them against themselves. Once you go to Southeast and keep people and the blood will be crying, you think that evil will not be for you. That is exactly what happened in this scenario. Quickly, let's dive in and find out what's going down. Or where are um, Where do we start? Do we start with the devil <laughs> himself, with the Omahi? Okay, let's start with... Um, do we start... Um, okay, let's start with devil Omahi. Court sacks Governor Mahe and his deputy over defection to APC. So, Elena, the Federal High Court sitting in Abuja today, March 8, sacked the governor, the failed governor of Ebony State, Devil Omahe, and his deputy, Dr. Eric Kelechi Igwe, following their defection from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. The judge held that the total number of 393,042 votes Governor Mahi pulled during the March 9, 2019 governorship election in Ebony State belonged to the PDP and cannot be legally transferred to the APC. So, since 2019, <laughs> now, now, 2022, when our tenor almost finished, and they say and say, nah. PDP get them. So was the judge blind? Was he having uh, um, distorted Abi uh, order or something? He was having visual issues, <laughs> according to the court, having defected to the to the APC. Both Omahe and his deputy not only jettisoned the PDP, but also the vote that belonged to it. Uh huh. Okay, they won. They won the election under PDP. And now they want to go to APC with the same vote you got from PDP. My <laughs> God, illiterate ruling over over intelligent people. Now, um, the court ruled that going by the outcome of the governorship election, the office of the governor and deputy governor in Ebony State belonged to the plaintiff and no other political party. Which means that since they have defected to APC. Then let them remain in APC. Let PDP take over the state because PDP won the election. <laughs> now you get the point. I'm just getting the point now that this report does not have sense. There is no constitutional provision that made the ballot transferable from one party 
to the other. Hell, what power is doing to people? You just want to, you just want to keep on rubbing cream, rubbing the highest cream, getting injected with the highest, highest good blood, milk, drinking milk, <laughs> eating crab, eating shrimps, so that you be beautiful on this earth, this body that you submit to the ground. When they put you in mortuary, you know nothing. They will naked you, they will mind. It doesn't matter whether you have a big distance or this. Uh, will, everybody, they go lie on a down there. Even if they wear you cloth, when they put you inside ground, time might you know they look whether you wear cloth, it will go there and uh, chop something. <laughs> this life, eh? nothing there inside, nothing. But now, black man, especially black man, I will take I'm so serious. This life, eh? <laughs> we die here. We are not going anywhere. We die here. You loot money. You loot this. You loot that. And you are sleeping in one, on one bed. You are sleeping only on one bed. And you, you are the, the uselessness of human beings. Okay. May God have it. Uh, have mercy on human beings. Now, it held that the PDP is bound to retain vote and mandate that was given to it by electorate in Ebony State, as both Governor Mahe and his deputy to could not validly transfer same to APC. Good court. The court therefore ordered both Omahe and Igwe to immediately moon and get away from there. By this time now, youth are supposed to be waiting for them with Enko and their stones at the gate as they are vacated. Because I, if, I, if I send our forming committee and they meet you people there, when I go regret them. Now, they said that they should immediately vacate their positions and that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, should immediately receive from the PDP names of persons to replace Omahe and his deputy or, in the alternative, conduct a fresh gubernatorial election in a bony state in line with Section 177C, of the 1999 constitution as amended. The court further restrained both Omahe and Igwe from further parading themselves as governor or deputy governor of a bony state. The judgment followed a suit uh, the PDP lodged before the court. So, <laughs> Dave Omahe, in your bid to run to APC now, to go and become, you want to go and contest for 2023 presidency or to follow somebody back from the back. How is it that you people don't consult or your lawyers did not quote this uh, article that they brought out here to, to guide you on the jumping that you wanted to jump? You just jumped because you are the governor. You can jump in. You can switch party. Nigeria, eh, the way it is, is not going to be better because one person will loot money here and go to the ruling party and they will pardon him that side. Once that party is um, finishing, they run to the other party and they'll put down him. That's, they'll keep running, running, running. And the time we are supposed to nala hanshi, that is rip them of all the loot, they will still be in power. Maybe till they, are, they, they enter grief and will not see them to try. All the loot will now gog in London, gog in America because we don't even have access to their account. We don't even know the properties that they have looted to acquire. That is how we have been losing billions in Nigeria. Look at what they are doing. They are burning houses with a bag who pose on them and they vomit especially. Plus, and even in Anambra State. Now, let's quickly move um, um, to the soldier that was killed by DSS officials. Family demands justice as secret police DSS kill Nigerian soldier in Lagos. You don't read now. <laughs> Nigerian army personnel identified only as Peter. I hopefully any name. The answer is not no. Maybe the DSS <laughs> officers that killed him, they are from the other side. They are from the north. Has died days after he was shot by operatives of the Department of State Services, DSS, in the Lekki area of Lagos State. According to eyewitness, Peter was stopped by the DSS operatives and he had attempted to bring out his identity card to show that he belonged to the Nigerian army, an action that cost him his life. A Twitter user at Condor wrote, I lost a brother today. He was a soldier. No, Boko Haram, no, a soldier. No, Boko Haram didn't kill him. Bandit didn't kill him. He didn't die at the war front. 
he was shot in the stomach by DSS in Lekki when he attempted to bring out his ID card. Again, Nigeria failed its own. May my God, justice for Peter. Ah, we have not finished justice for Bamiche in Lagos, the girl that was killed by BRT driver. That one is government motto. This one now, DSS has killed a soldier. We have not finished justice for Bamiche. We, we have not finished that justice. We are now seeking another justice. For how long shall you seek for justice? If people killed at the Lake Ito Gate could not get justice, where else will justice be served in Nigeria? I'm not sure if there will be any justice anywhere in Nigeria. So bear this and have this at the back of your mind, then you will know peace. <laughs> now, in continuation with this um, particular story, he was full of life, an amazing soul to the core. He was always smiling. I can't protect the fact that I won't see him again. Living in Nigeria is equivalent to walking on a time bomb set to explode the next minute. Giving further explanation, a friend wrote, Peter was killed by DSS. He tried to defend himself and maintain his stand as a military personnel by bringing out his ID card. But, was, um, but this was the attempt that led to his death. He was shot in the stomach at close range when he made attempt to bring out his ID card. He died at the hospital days after failed attempt to save his life. Again, Nigeria failed its own. The country he loved, served, <laughs> fought for, killed him, not even at the battleground where he fought and conquered, but on the street. Served Nigeria and ending in shame. If you have not remembered this statement that Mazen Namdekano made, and you people are laughing at Mazen Namdekano, oh, this man, eh, Namdekano himself, eh, he's not, I don't even know what is wrong with him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Not being be this one. No be, when they say Mazen Namdekano is a prophet, you say, ah, forget that man, what did they do, what did they do, not do. No be the prophets, one of the prophecies, they come to fulfillment. No being be this one. <laughs> and I never see anything. Who knows where he has been, like I've been saying that he might have been deployed to the southeast and wherever now will jump because he has seen house where people has camped for safety. You put it fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awa, awa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Awa, awa. You have shooting. You didn't see those guys that were shooting the other time in Ebony State. You did shoot yourself. They show yourself because you have seen a, a helpless zone where you can perform. When it gets to Boko Haram now, now they push APC. Duchu. Duchu. Once you are serving this Nigeria, you will end in shame. No two ways about it. This Nigeria is a dream killer. If Nigeria was redeemable and repairable, I will tell you people that let's fight and repair this country. But it is irreparable. You can't repair Nigeria. The more you repair it, it will even drag you to the mud and you, you collapse with the country. I beg you, I have one short clip to show you. Um, the next full video will also come on the next update. We are uh, our people, what the governors are doing. Uh, the, the help of this, with the help of these soldiers, the Bubag police, DSS, all of them. See, I'm here. Okay, see. This is what I was complaining on my live video yesterday. This is it. Look at it. Mm -hmm. This is somebody's house. This is somebody's house. This is somebody's house. I said this thing yesterday on my live video, but most of you didn't watch. Now, what I'm saying is, this Biafra agitation, how serious are we? Or we just want to use it to, you know, keep staying on social media, or we just want to keep on talking about it. Talking about this Biafra without action cannot bring it. Somebody has lost his her life, his, um, his house, his uh, car, his properties, everything. And there is no war there, even though we, we, we see it as war, but it is <coughs> not a full-scale war. It's a genocide, an underground genocide going on. This is not what Al Jazeera is not coming to cover. 
this is not what CNN is coming to cover. You must be ready to defend what we are preaching about. If not, Banji, keep quiet. If not, keep quiet. You people, you, you are, you are, you are costing people's pro lives and properties, and they will raid that village now. Carry youth, carry our our men. This is I'm I'm not happy about it. If you want to stand for Biafra, if you want, if you stand here, tell them to go and come. They will still meet you standing. That is when I will know that Biafra is serious. Not this one that uh, they they at all stone boom. Or they are no longer police. We run away and police will come there and kill innocent people. We have to stand on our feet. Plan give no. I beg. I don't tie in short. Um, I, may we may I do small advert for now? Um, <laughs> yeah, I know say some of them are done the verse, no verse, in fact, no verse. We are serious about what we are talking about, but look into it, and um, you will understand where I am coming from. Now, our sister that is selling um shoes, wears all these shoes, any type that you want. Um, that's the number on the screen there. I can't even get the shoes again on my screen, okay? That's the number uh, on the screen there. Those of you who wants to buy any of her shoes. Okay, some of you must have seen it before. Um, she delivers both in Nigeria, UK, US, anywhere. Just call this number or WhatsApp her. She will give you, she will send the shoes. You Any type that you want. Even I can even show you live shoes, but uh, it's not close to me. I'll show you on the next one, okay? Just call her. She's selling, she deals on all assorted types of shoes. You know get the type we you know get. I'm going to show you. Just give me a minute, I'll be right back. This one a special edition. <laughs> All right, we are back. <laughs> we must continue. All right, so these are the products that she's delivering to people. You can see, very beautiful. So I, I just got one mm -hmm, from her. So in case you want something like this or something even more beautiful, she has all just inbox her and they will deliver it to you if you are in europe germany us nigeria anywhere whatsapp this number on the screen and you'll get your own package sharply at a at an affordable rate original no be go con if you know be original let me know maybe we refund you quickly thank you <laughs> 